Hi guys, today I want to make a quick video about e-bike tuning for Bore Smart system. We have the brand Speedbox and I want to present you today two different types of tuning for the smart system. One of them is the standard one. 1.0 and the other one is with the option uh, connection with the with the speedbox app uh, it is called B tuning for the purpose of today's uh, video I have an e-bike model 2022 by cube equipped with the smart system and Bosch performance line CX. If you choose Speedbox brand, you should remove the speed sensor connector, which is here, and the display connector, which is this one below the speed sensor cable before you start the installation make sure that all the pins inside those plastic connectors are okay are straight the other important thing is to align those markers here with the markers on the engine so this is very very important on the previous models not smart system before year 2022 uh, you cannot do anything wrong because the, co the, the connectors are different, they are rectangular, so you cannot do anything wrong. But here in this case everything is round and if you are pushing and uh, not be careful with the alignment, you can easily damage those pins. So, as I explained, remove the, this pin which is the speed sensor with this color and this is the alignment marker this one and uh, the marker on the engine is pointing in this direction you see then remove the second cable which is for the display you see also with a marker which is in black color so take the tuning and put the gray plastic connector to the speed sensor cable with the gray end and take the black plastic connector and connect it with the display cable in black color and align the markers be sure that they are properly installed and that they are not moving the last stage is to put the male connectors from the speed box to the engine the gray one gone goes here and the black one goes here and align the markers with the markers of the engine which are pointing in this direction to the seat post tube so now I'm done with the installation you see now I have to do so and put the speed box inside the cover of the engine like this and to make a test I installed the battery and the plastic plastic cover so how to turn the tuning on there is a walk button 
on the LED remote, you should press short the walk button. And you see for the short period uh, numbers. That means you have turned the tuning on. To turn it off, press the walk button again. You see that the numbers 2.6, it means it is the stock. You have a speed limit of 25 kilometers per hour. The other combination is with the plus minus. Plus minus plus minus plus and you have unlock the speed limit. You mean I mean you are in the speed in the speed mode let's say plus minus plus minus plus and now you have the stock speed limit 25 the speed is correct till 22 kilometers per hour after this riding speed you should check the small numbers the correct speed is shown here and it is combination with the big and the small numbers about the countdown you should go after the ride in this screen and you should check the riding time the riding time will increase uh, when it stops to increase and freezes it means that the procedure is done and you can turn off your bike because i installed the speed box with the b tuning i installed also the app from the app store for my android phone and now i started the app and I have to connect with the tuning so I will choose the the tuning from the list it pops up select new pin I say ok what, zero 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 uh, it's not allowed so 13 let's say 26 13 26 service password what should be So now I'm connected with the with the app, and I have uh, also a digital odometer also here, and uh, different data: my power, my energy, distance, duration, etc. Rotations, pedaling, and here is the limit. Turn, turn off. Fifty. You see on the on the display. Now I have no speed limit. By this model, the maximum uh, speed is fifty. By the previous model, you can adjust it between twenty-five and ninety-nine. Turn off, and you see on the display now, with a little bit of delay. This. Uh, numbers those numbers so this is the stock version of the bike so this is very very nice so guys I installed my phone here on the bar of the bike I turned the app of the speedbox on so we can see the reading of the odometer and we can check the odometer of the bike now the tuning is off so we have the stock speed limit of 25 kilometers per hour and we will make the test uh, like this and then we will turn on the tuning so now the readings are correct on the both devices i will accelerate And I feel the the limit. So 25 is the limit.
So now I will engage via the app the tuning. You see the readings on the display. So now we will make the test and we'll check the readings on the e-bike and on my phone here. There is no speed limit now. So it's very important to, after every ride in tuning mode, you have to wait for a, for the countdown. So guys, this was the video about the speed box uh, for the smart system. Uh, in this case, I installed the variation with the B tuning but the variation without the bit tuning is the same but without this app so the turning on and off the unit is via the led remote display with a walk button or with a plus minus combination and you have to wait for the readings 2.6 is disengaged 5.0 is engaged and there is some delay in the readings of the display so wait to see them and then wait to see 0.0, .0 and wait for the countdown after every ride in tuning mode so this this was my video thanks for watching